Let's look at how to use Excel to calculate the median value of a set of data. Firstly, let's look at ungrouped raw data. So here's my raw data set, here's my 25 values that I've been using. I need to find the median value. Now the median value, of course, is the one in the middle if you put the values in ascending order, such that half the values are therefore less than that and half are above it. Now in general, the median value will be the n plus 1 over 2 position, n being the number of values. So here we've got 25 values, n is 25. 25 plus 1 is 26, divided by 2, 13. So the median value would be the 13th value in the data set when they're in ascending order, which of course makes sense. That would mean that 12 were less than the median and 12 values were above it. Now of course, we don't need to do that manually in Excel. It has a built-in function that does that for us called medium. So let's use that. So there we are using the medium function and there's the range of data. So we find the median in fact is 24. Now what about finding the median from group data if we don't have access to the actual raw data itself? We just have a frequency distribution, a grouping of the data. Well, just as we did with the mean, we can use an approximation method. And again, just as with the mean, it in general turns out to be a reasonably accurate answer. Now to do this, we need to use the cumulative frequencies, either the actual ones or better, the percentage ones. And the reason is, if th is, of course, that if you look at the distribution, the frequent distribution, the values are in effect in ascending order because we start off with intervals at naught, beginning at naught, and up to 60. And then we look at the values in each interval. So the values here have effectively been arranged in ascending order in terms of the interval. We can use that, therefore, to find the halfway point. Now if we look at the percentage cumulative frequencies, which of course take us up to 100% of values, the whole number of values, the median is going to be halfway, 50%. The values are in ascending order, so it's halfway, which is 50%. Now looking at the intervals, you'll see that 44% of values are 20 or less. 56% we know are 30 or less. So clearly the value which is at the 50 50% point must be somewhere between those two. In other words, it's somewhere in this interval. It's got to be greater than 20 because that only takes us up to 44%. It can't be as high as 30. That takes us up to 56%. It's somewhere between 20 and 30. So what we need to do is this. So let me put in a formula to calculate. So we say it's equal to 20. We know that plus a bit more because it's somewhere in here. How much more? Well, what you have to say is to get from the 44% value, which is 20, up to the 50%, we're clearly going another 6%, 44 up to 50. So I've typed that in. Notice the brackets to make sure that's worked out first. So it's 6% extra out of the total percentage in this interval. Now what's the percentage of values in the 20 to 30 interval? Well, it must be 12% because it takes us from the 44% uh, value to the 56% value, which is 12%. So we want 6% out of that 12. Now out of means divide. So there we have the fraction of this interval that we want, 6 out of 12, which is a half in fact. So we, we want that fraction of this interval, which is 10. So we want of 10, of means multiply. So that should give us the median. So notice how I've done that. I've found out which interval it's in by looking at the percentage cumulative frequencies, finding where the 50% point is. And then I've said I need to take an extra percent to go from 44 up to 50 of the total 
percent in here, which is 12, 56 to uh, 44 to 56. So I want that fraction of the width of the interval, which is 10. So that gives me a median of 25. And as you can see, that's not quite uh, the same as the true median, but it's because it's an approximation, but it's near enough to be uh, reasonable and to be usable. If we only have access to the frequency distribution, not the raw data, we can only use this approximation, but it's going to be accurate enough. There is, in fact, another method you could find the median of group data, which is actually uh, quicker, and you may prefer this, and that's to use the OGIs, the cumulative frequency curve that we calculate, that we drew. So if I look at the OGI here of this data, which we did previously, on the OGI of course shows the relationship between the percentage cumulative frequency and each upper class boundary. Now remember that, as we've just seen, if we look at the percentage cumulative frequency, the median is at the 50% point. So all we have to do to find the median here is simply find 50% up here, draw across to the curve and down, and we can read off the median on the horizontal axis. And as you can see, if we do that here, go from 50%, we get to this point down, we get 25, just as we did from our uh, arithmetic calculation previously. So that's actually a very quick and easy way to find the median, uh, which you may prefer to use rather than using the arithmetic method. Of course, how accurate it is from the graph will depend on how accurately you've drawn the graph. So in many ways, the arithmetic method is more accurate, but the graphical method here is usually also quite, quite acceptable. Okay, so that shows how to find the median value.